Hey everybody, welcome back to h &S Collectibles. This is Cody, and uh, uh, this is going to be my November haul video, and then towards the end is going to be my uh, uh, digital giveaway contest. Um, so, if that's why you're here, that's at the end. Uh, but in the meantime, I want to show you what I picked up in November, and, and there's a lot of stuff here, so it might be kind of a lengthy video. Um, so uh, I'll s probably just start off with the uh, DVDs and Blu-rays <coughs> and move into the uh, figures and, and vinyl and stuff after that. So um, first off, I bought a couple more movies off my uh, uh, good buddy Q, the horror fan. And uh, he sent me, for what I thought was a real good price, the uh, Umbrella Entertainment release of Buckaroo Banzai. Um, you know, this is a movie that I always got a kick out of, you know, Lithgow's wild in it, Christopher Lloyd's wild in it, uh, Vincent Chiavelli, Jeff Goldblum are just kind of how they usually are. Um, so very cool movie, glad to have that in my collection now. And then the other one I got off of uh, Q was uh, Life Force, the uh, Scream Factory uh, release with the slipcover uh, in pretty much perfect shape um, uh, barely any even any shelf wear on this so thank you Q uh, thanks for giving me a good price on these and thanks for giving me uh, first dibs on on looking at your your stuff to sell uh, early in the month I got the uh, American Werewolf in London uh, arrow release that of course comes with the uh, uh, the poster the book and the uh, remastered blu-ray so I had an old standard copy of uh, Werewolf in London and I just thought that this looked fantastic. Um, so if you like Werewolf in London, that's a good one to get. Uh, while, we're on, while we're on Arrow releases, uh, I had a video the other day. I also got the Arrow release of Robocop. Um, it comes with uh, a book, a poster of the movie. Uh, uh, picture looked fantastic. Uh, I, I had this on Blu-ray before, but I'm not sure if it looked as good as this did, so real pleased with this. Plus, I, I just like the boxes for the Arrow uh, releases. They're, they're very nice. Um, let's see, the other ones that are kind of special. So there was a video for this the other day. I got the Big Trouble in Little China um, Steelbook. And... Uh, get this open here uh, you can go watch that video separately but it comes with a colored uh, 45 record uh, the uh, uh, steel book with the new uh, uh, new steel book exclusive art and the, I got the big bundle so it came with the regular scream factory blu-ray release with the slip cover and then uh, uh, two posters of uh, one of the uh, the, the standard uh, new artwork and one of the steelbook artwork. So, if you'd like to see those, that video is I don't know from last Thursday or something like that. So, just go back a couple days and it'll be there. And let's see. Then at a local used video store, um, I was able to pick up Happy Death Day 2 um, with the slipcover. Um, these are fun movies. Um, I get a kick out of them. You know, it's basically uh, uh, Groundhog Day with a slasher. Uh, but but I thought the second one was pretty much as much fun as the first one. Um, I picked up Colossal, uh, which, as I understand, is a movie about a woman who realizes she has some kind of a psychic uh, connection to a monster that's destroying maybe Korea. Uh, uh, South Korea or something like that. Uh, I haven't watched it yet. I just read about it and I saw it for $8. I thought, why not? If I don't like it, I'll give it away. Uh, and at Walmart, I picked up Mad Max Fury Road um, with this new uh, uh, slipcover art that they had. I think this was in the $5 rack. Um, Fury Road is one that I, I really enjoy, so I didn't have a copy of it yet, so there we go. And then the Black Friday uh, things that I grabbed. So I grabbed a lot of movies that are going to end up being gifts for people, so I'm not going to show those here, but the ones that I got for myself 
Uh, I picked up Crawl uh, that was produced by Sam Raimi, I believe. Um, uh, I liked this movie. I thought it was a lot of fun. Uh, really made my wife jump in, in parts. A lot of uh, uh, jump scares in it when the alligators come for him. Uh, I picked up Overlord on 4K. Um, Overlord uh, uh, is a great movie. I really enjoyed it. Uh, I think Kurt Russell's son has a lot of potential, so I'd like to see him in some more movies. Uh, but I was able to get that for, I think, $8. Um, picked up Logan on Blu-ray for uh, maybe, it was either 4 or $6, something like that. Uh, and I thought this was interesting. This is a, a three disc set and it comes with uh, standard uh, movie and special features, Blu-ray movie, special and features, and then Logan Noir, which is the movie in black and white. So just kind of interesting. I think the only other movie I've seen throw in a black and white was a special edition of Fury Road a little while back. Uh, and then I picked up this uh, uh, eight, J eight movie set of Jason, basically the Paramount movies, part one through eight. Uh, I got this because it was ten dollars, and uh, I already have um, the uh, Camp Crystal Lake to Manhattan set, so I've already got these movies. But it did look like they may have some different uh, special features. Maybe I need to go and, and take a look at that and verify. And I thought if I don't end up keeping this, then this would make a good giveaway item for, for maybe a, a 300 subscribers contest in the future. So, so that's it for the movies. Pretty big stack there. Um, moving on to vinyls. So I believe this came in November. I don't think I've shown this yet. Um, house uh, by Waxwork. Uh, colored vinyl set. Uh, this is actually House one and two so there'll be a, a video of this in the coming weeks um child's play 2019 by uh, uh waxwork colored set um love the music in both of those especially house one house one over house two i like and then this one uh, uh one of their older releases from uh, mondo but uh prince of darkness um the the only thing that I don't like about this is this is not the expanded soundtrack but but this is one that I really wanted to get on uh, colored vinyl and I like the way that it looks so all of those will have their own video in the future on uh, uh, colored vinyl Tuesdays and let's see now we'll get to some some figures so two that go together real quick um, I got a, uh, a small Christine from uh, Johnny Lightning. And this Christine comes with a diorama of Darnell's shop in the back. Uh, like Kind of like the stall that she was being worked on in. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to open this or not. Uh, this is one of them where I might just leave it in the package. I don't think you can see them on the wall behind me. Uh, there are some Christine cars hanging on the wall back there in their packages, so this might stay in the package. I have to make that decision later. Uh, and then I've already put out a video of this. This was the uh, 118th scale uh, Christine with the, uh, if I can find the switch, the light up headlights. Um, so I, I really like this. This is one that I, I should have bought earlier, but um, very cool. Uh, uh, very well done. So trying to figure out which shelf I'm going to put that on. Uh, let's see, two more that go together. So I just picked this up today. And I picked this one up last week, late last week, both at the same store. Uh, my local shop that I like to go to, but it's the... Uh, uh, cloth uh, version of Sam from Trick or Treat. He comes with uh, his sucker, his bag, and you can actually take the uh, uh, sack off of his head. Um, and there will be a, a separate video on this later. Haven't even opened him yet. And then I got the ultimate Trick or Treat Sam from NECA. Um, 
I really like the box art on this. I like that that orange glow, um, uh, almost kind of uh, uh, like a, a steel book kind of cover. In fact, the steel book that I have of Trick or Treat kind of looks a lot like this. Um, but there he is. I think he comes with like, four different heads. He's got the flaming jack o' lantern, uh, regular jack o' lantern. Um, his box cutter, a severed hand, his sucker. Um, so this this was one that I felt that I needed. I really like Trick or Treat. It's a good movie. Um, let's see here. So uh, I'm going to roll some footage here of uh, uh, the toy store that I stopped at in Chicago. I went to Michigan last week on a trip for work. And uh, this is a toy store called Quake Collectibles in Chicago. I forget what street it's on, but you can look them up. Uh, uh, maybe, maybe it was Jordan Street, something like that. But, but at any rate, uh, this place is a small store, uh, but it is packed from one end to the other, from the floor to the ceiling, under the shelves, piled up. He has just got a ton of stuff in there. And I think I ended up picking about, no, oh, it was almost $90 worth of stuff. And I was going to pay cash, and, and he took 80 for it. it was, I, I didn't bargain with him. He just said, you're doing cash, let's do 80 uh, So real nice guy, real easy to work with, and a lot of cool stuff. Uh, so I picked up this uh, T850 figure, which that's always kind of thrown me. So this is a McFarlane figure of Arnold from Terminator 3. He comes with the base, he comes with the, I think, grenade launcher, shotgun, and uh, I don't remember in that movie ever hearing him referred to as the T-850, and that's how uh, McFarlane branded him in this whole series for Terminator 3, so uh, I have to go back and watch that again. Terminator 3, definitely not a strong entry in the series, in my opinion, but still better than Salvation. Um, I think Salvation is the worst one. Of course, it didn't have Arnold in it either. Um, and while we're on uh, Mezco, I got uh, Mezco Hellboy. Uh, so I do have another Mezco Hellboy where he's wearing his... Uh, uh, trench coat and he's got his gun and his sword you can see it in the background of some of my more recent videos uh, but this one he he has his horns he's wearing the black outfit he does come with the big revolver um, so later on whenever I open it this will uh, uh, have its own video and let's see here the last well a tiny one first um, this is a little blind box Godzilla toy that I bought at ThinkGeek just on a whim. And I got this, uh, this is supposed to be Mothra's larva. Um, kind of weird, kind of unusual. Uh, looks more like a cockroach or something than, a, than a, a Mothra larva to me, but I thought why not. And there were, I don't know, a half a dozen different Godzillas that you could have gotten and a half dozen other other characters and I would have really preferred to have gotten Mothra or uh, uh, Shin Godzilla or Ghidorah or any of them other than, than the one that I got so that's why I don't usually do blind boxes I never end up getting what I want so uh, the last three figures here uh, actually all go together so uh, uh, Sin City from, uh, let's see, who is this from? This is from NECA, NECA Real Toys. So there's Hardigan, um, Bruce Willis's character in Sin City. And uh, uh, not a bad likeness of him. I had seen this figure before and always passed it up, but he had these two here for $12 each and he ended up giving them to me for $10 each, so I was willing. Um, so Hardigan and the Yellow Bastard to go with him that Nick Stahl played. Uh, so kind of a you know, very, very weird, demented looking character. But uh, got them both. Uh, so they'll go 
on the Sin City shelf, if I can make room. And then this was the coolest, I thought, that he had. Um, when I picked these two, he said, hey, if you like Sin City, I've got a loose one over here for five bucks. And uh, he had Marv um, carrying Kevin's head, which was a NECA figure. Um, somebody, whoever had it, glued this Entertainment Earth onto Marv's boot so he'd stand well. Um, but uh, he didn't have any of the other accessories. Originally, this came with a pair of handcuffs, a hacksaw, and I think his pistol, Gladys. Um, but the other two Marv NECAs that I have both came with a hacksaw. Uh, so when I put him on the shelf, I'm going to put one of those hacksaws in his hand, and I, and I think it will uh, uh, look very good with him carrying the head with the hacksaw in his hand. So... Uh, that's it for the uh, uh, figures, movies, and uh, vinyl haul. Uh, like I say, it was quite a month. It was uh, a lot of things come come in the mail. A lot of things came due. I was able to stop into those couple of stores and, and get some things. Uh, so just very busy. Um, so thanks for sticking with me this far. Next up is uh, <clears throat> the uh, contest um, that I wanted to do. So, I've got some movie codes here. Since I bought a lot of movies, I've been saving the codes. My internet where I live is not the best, so if I could watch a physical copy, I prefer to do it that way, and I don't really use these. Um, some of them we like to save and, and load up for the kids, you know, for when we're on trips or something, but um, uh, these I'm just willing to give away, so... Uh, I'll just run through the list here real quick. So I've got Godzilla, King of the Monsters, the new one. And uh, I've got uh, Child's Play 2019. Uh, happy, happy Death Day to You. Mad Max Fury Road. The Back to the Future Trilogy. Got this from the Steelbook that I bought. Uh, the original Pet Cemetery. Uh, the original Boris Karloff Frankenstein, the original Boris Karloff the Mummy, Logan, and Overlord. So those are the ones that I have, and I believe there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. If you count Back to the Future as three different movies, so what I want to do here uh, is have a little contest. Uh, I, I was kind of just giving uh, codes away and someone suggested that I have a drawing um, a, a, to make it, you know, a little bit more uh, 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 fair for my viewers versus people who can just drop in and see them randomly. So I like drawings. I think they're fun. So what I'm going to do, um, I'm going to give you until December the 15th um, and... Uh, 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 comments below will get uh, one entry into the pot and video entries will get two entries into the pot kind of similar to what I did last time and I think since there are 12 movies I'm going to give the first place winner six of them second place winner gets four third place winner gets two so six four two uh, makes the 12 and the first place winner gets his pick or her pick of the first six uh, that they want and then second and third place get the pick from what's left and and so on so uh, that's it that's uh, uh, all there is uh, what I'd like you to do since we're smack dab in the middle of the holiday season and we just had Thanksgiving uh, just tell me tell me what you're thankful for um, and, and I'll uh, I'll talk about this so tell me what you were most thankful for and I know you know, a lot of folks are going to say family, and and, and that is something to uh, uh, definitely be thankful for. I'm very thankful for mine, but uh, expand however you want. You can tell me what you're thankful for uh, in terms of your collection, in terms of your family, your personal life, whatever. So uh, uh, phrase it however you want. But uh, question one is, what are you thankful for? And question two is... Uh, uh, what do you want Santa to bring you for Christmas? Uh, what, what are you really hoping for for Christmas? So, uh, or what would you like to see under the tree for you uh, as a horror fan or a horror collector? 
or sci-fi too. So those two questions, what are you thankful for? What are you hoping for? And uh, uh, then we'll have a drawing after the 15th. So uh, uh, that's it. That's the November haul and the contest for right now. You can come back and see me later. I'd like you to like and subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, these, like I say, these digital codes will just keep piling up and uh, every now and then I guess I'll do a drawing or just a random video. I might do a random video for the ones that I think are a little bit less desirable and do a drawing for, for ones like these. So with that, that's enough for now. I will talk to you later and I hope to hear from you uh, uh, what you're thankful for and what you're hoping for. So talk to you later. Thanks. <music>